Good evening, everybody. How are you doing tonight? I am Re, and this is Pep Talk with Re. And so we do this thing on Mondays. We do it every single Monday on Positive Power. And we get together and we just get pepped up, amped up, having a good time. There's nothing like it. And so I'm so excited to come on with you tonight and just to have a good time with you, to um, have my guest on tonight, my brother. I'm so excited for you to hear from him. And just also the music that you're going to be hearing from some of my favorites on tonight. Listen, you know, all month long, we are celebrating um, our men, our kingdom men. And so Father's Day is coming up. But for me, it's why just do it on one day? I know as a mom, I know as a female, a lot of times, you know, us women, we get a lot of love, a lot of everything. Even I know for me, my birthday is like all month long, all year long, actually, you know, but us women we get a lot and so for me when it was when it was when I thought of this month and I thought ahead of time I said you know what I want to do it all month long and give honor where honor is due to our men and so I'm excited that you tuned in I'm excited to share with you and I'm excited just to have my little part in giving honor to these guys that will be that you'll be hearing from all month long in addition to that the music all men. And so we're showing love to our independent artists. And I encourage you all, if you're tuning in and you are an independent artist, to make sure to let me get some of that music, y'all. And you can send your music to make sure it's tagged. Make sure it's tagged, y'all. We want to be able to play you and give you some credit and all of that. Make sure your music is tagged. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say tag, message me and I'll, I'll give you some information. But make sure that, that your music is tagged so you can get that credit and send it to we Weekend pep at gmail.com. That is W E E K E N D pep P E P at gmail.com. And we're playing all men all month long. But before we go any further, I want to take some time and go before God in prayer. Lord, I thank you so much for this time. I thank you so much for this fellowship that we're able to come together. I thank you for um, the opportunity to be here on this network and to share with the nation what you have given, Lord God. I ask, Lord God, that you help us to walk according to your will, to be a productive as you've called for us to be, and for this to be just not only a beneficial time, but an amazing time, a great time. Lord God, if anybody is low, if anybody is hurting, if anybody is in a place where uh, they're struggling for joy or to find reasons for for living. I ask Lord God that they find it tonight on Pep Talk, that they get excited, get encouraged, get empowered, and move into the greatness that God has called for them to do. And so I give all praise, all glory, all honor to you. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. And so those of you that are coming on, um, if you're if you're just tuning in, you're with your host Re Pep Talk with Re. If you're in the living room, if you're in your room in your bed, and your well, well, I'm gonna get away from that. I'm not gonna say bed. If you're in your house, <laughs> if you're in your godly house, <laughs> and even if it's your house where you're trying to get your life together, if you're in, wherever you are, I encourage you to bring somebody in and say, "Hey, come on, it's Pep Talk with Re." And if you're in your car, turn it up, listening on Spreaker. If you're if you're tuned in, any way that you're tuned then let them know. And if you are with me on Facebook Live, then I encourage you to not only um, to not only bring somebody in the room with you, but make sure to invite. That's how we get this word out. That's how we stretch our borders. That's how we do this thing, y'all. So make sure to invite your friends to come in. It's that little um, that little uh, man type figure with the plus sign. Just invite some folk. Invite. Just go down the list. Just even if I'm already in there, invite me too. Invite everybody. And then not only do I want you to invite, I want you to share. 
I want you to share this broadcast because we are honoring men. We are honoring men. And how do we make this worldwide is that we get it out. Right now I'm in Florida, but there are many of you calling in from or, or tuning in from different places. So also my Facebook family, I want for you to let me know where you where you're tuning in from. Make sure to type that in. And those that are on Spreak, I see y'all be commenting and stuff too. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I love you guys, and I'm so excited. When we get back, I want to talk and share some things that I shared with my son before he was even born, and it's coming from the book of Proverbs. But before we go any further, I want to play a song, one of my favorites, and I actually played it when I um, first started doing Pep Talk on Positive Power, and it's from a group called Restore City, and the song is called Something About You, and they are my overseas buddies. So y'all make sure to show some love, and we're going to put their information up so you can link up and get some more of their music. We got some kingdom men, so enjoy Something About You. You are listening to Jerry Orson Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, all right, yeah. Blinded by the things I see with my own eyes. I'm in a place I shouldn't be. I hear my heart is crying. I'm losing it, I've lost my mind. What you hate is right. I'm in a wall, I'm in a fight. But I know you got it all on my forefront. Is you and there is nobody else. Can be right on the battlefield for me. Cause you are your warrior. All on my forefront. Is you and there is nobody else. Can be right on the battlefield for me. Cause you are your warrior. Yeah. Mountains high, but you make him go low, low. Through the valleys, you don't let me go. Mountains high, but you make him go low, low. Through the valleys, you don't let me go, go. There's something about you. There's something about you. I'm with the one who got me day and night. He got me moving in the light so bright. part of my life cause he loves me so and I love him too mountains high but you make him go low low through the valleys you don't let me go go mountains high but you make him go low low through the valleys you don't let me go go something about you You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. 
Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power A double XI. Positive Power 21.org Internet Radio You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Unfailing love, unending grace You came to die to live in me I give you all that I am I owe you everything I have I give you all that I am All that I am I worship you You were just listening to Restore City. I'm trying to make sure I got these headphones right, y'all. So let me know, that y'all that are on Facebook, if you can hear me. Uh, please let me know. Oh, bitches, that I love the quality of this show. Very upscale right after I just said that. My God. <laughs> Thank you so much. But um, listen, you were listening to Restore City. And the thing about Restore City, it just gets me moving. I enjoy it. I have such a good time. And the Matt Franklin Band, I love the song, I Worship You. So here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to share with you from Proverbs chapter 7. Now, when I found out that I was ha- – thank you so much, Ms. Felicia. When I found out that I was having um, a boy, I was having my son. And remember, all this month, we're talking about fatherhood. All of my music is coming from uh, Kingdom Men this month, and um, we are honoring our Kingdom Men. And so um, Proverbs chapter 7. I read, and this is where I'm going to come from, so you can kind of bookmark that and get prepared for it. But when I found out that I was having a son, 
I, I didn't grow up with a father. My father passed when I was four years old. So, so that experience of dad and, and what that feels like and, and the whole man thing. And um, I didn't under, I didn't understand it. And then in addition to that, I didn't have the best um, involvement and, and connections and relationships prior to that with men. So my view was, was, was jaded. I didn't have that strong man in my life to show me what it looks like when he fears the Lord and he brings his children up in a certain way. I, I really didn't have those things. And, and um, we hear about it, um, the statistics of what happens when the male is not in home in the home and i can say from a female it truly affected me and i know from a, a male's perspective um that there is a great effect but i knew that in order for me to be the best mother that i can be even in the time of preparation for my son i knew that i had to go to god because i didn't have that in me i i really didn't have that in me and i was you know i had an amazing i have an amazing husband but even with him coming up he didn't have um, some of the influences that um, we uh, that we want, and I'm using my words carefully. But he, some of those influences, you know, could have been a different way. And so it was imperative for me at that time, knowing that I'm getting ready to give birth to a son. That for me as a woman, I I want to see in him the men that I didn't see. I want him to be that strong man. I want him to be that caring man, that that man who was faithful, all of those things. And I knew I had to go to God. And it was so interesting for the I, I what I did was I went through the book of Proverbs and I just read to my womb. And I'll go to Proverbs seven and just share a little bit of that and share some of how I I knew to give to my child because God was leading me. And it says, Proverbs 7, chapter 1, My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live and my law as the apple of thine eye. Bind them upon thy fingers. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. For at the window of my house I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding, passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, now in the streets, and lieth in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me this day. Have I paid my vows? Therefore came I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. Now let me just pause right here. We are, if you, if you are following He's speaking wisdom to his son because because there is an encounter getting ready to happen with the lady of the night. You hear me? So check this out. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with love. For the good man is not at home. He has gone a long journey. And she with somebody. He have taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stock. Till a dark strike through, till a dart strike through his liver as a bird hasteth to the snare and knoweth not that it was for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her path. For she hath cast down many wounded, yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. That is Proverbs chapter 7. And, one, and I read that to my womb. I read that to my womb because I knew I don't understand this male thing. 
I don't understand this because my son is not always going to be a baby. He's going to grow into a man who can grow into be a father who will be an influence to others. And he is going to be different. He's not going to be this all men are dogs. He's not going to be this, um, I, you know, all of these different things. He's going to grow into something different. And I'm and I and I and I thank God for leading me to read from when from when uh, these words were spoken. These words were shared to a son to receive wisdom, to not fall and go the path of foolishness, to not go for the quick thrill, uh, to not go for, for the way of destruction, which is death. And so that is something that I, I'm grateful that God led me as a father. He led me, my father in heaven led me to lead my son, to share the words out of Proverbs 7. And so there are many things and many influences in our life. But I have my guest, Mr. Doug Jackson, getting ready to come on. And I know, I told you, I didn't grow up seeing a father. I didn't grow up seeing those different things. And I didn't really have the greatest experiences um, with with men and fatherhood and all of that. But I had the opportunity to um, go on a, on a nice little journey. <laughs> and um, it was a, a group of us. I had an awesome opportunity uh, to go in, to the Bahamas and, and to spend some time. But one thing that I was able to see among many things was a father who had his children right along with us. And we'll talk about that a little bit more. But let me introduce you to my guest tonight, Doug Jackson. Doug, are you here? Yes, I am. Ree, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm glad. I'm excited. Thank you for having me on. I'm, I'm just, just happy to be here. Awesome. Awesome. I'm so glad that you are here. And when I reached out to you, um, a couple of a couple months ago, I think, um, mm-hmm. when I reached out to you, you were one of the main ones, if not the first ones, that I wanted to reach when I when um when God put it on me to honor the men and and in dealing with fatherhood. Um, but before we get into that, I would love for you to introduce yourself to our listeners. Um, let them know who you are. My girl, Dr. T, I always say, can't nobody tell your story better than you can. So tell us. Tell us who is Doug Jackson. Absolutely. Uh, uh, the name is, again is Doug Jackson, um, a young man who grew up in New York City, who now uh, lives in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, I'm the husband of Crystal Jackson, the father of uh, Michaela Bryce in Denver. Uh, the Three Stooges is what I call them. Um, I serve uh, with many hats. I'm an elder in the church. Uh, my wife and I, we are. Um, the marriage and engaged counselors of our church. Um, oh, wow. I serve um, on the Brotherhood Board. I am a CEO of a management company. Um, I work with many different artists, tours, um, anything in the music industry you you think of, <laughs> I do it. And um, right. uh, most of all, the, about, about me, I'm a very shy young man, and a lot of people don't know that. And uh, I, I think I heard you mention uh, that you were an introvert. <laughs> and I said, wow. Right. And I said, well, <laughs> what, what, what are the odds? <laughs> <Me too. laughs> right. And, uh, you know, that's, that's Doug Jackson in a nutshell. That's who I am. That's um, what I love about me and what I do. Awesome. Awesome. I love that. I love that. And you know what? I did catch that you were shy. I did. As we were riding, I said, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, caught, I caught that, but it's, it's still refreshing. But I did want to share one of the reasons why I reached out to you um, for especially this um, this show that we're doing, um, this special that we're doing all month, is I had the opportunity um, to be on uh, the tour where we went to uh, the Bahamas. That was, um, I don't want to, it was the, God, was it, get me, get the name right, because I'll be tearing it's stuff awesome. up. You it was our third right. annual gospel fest. 
Yes, it was the third annual Gospel Fest, and we went to the Bahamas, y'all, and it was so amazing. Let me just throw a plug in. If you are interested in anything going on, please follow Doug Jackson. You will be busy. You will have fun and all of that. <laughs> and, um, and if you want to know anything else, follow, look look up my timeline. You will see um, you will see the amazing time that we had. But um, I w- I was on the third annual Gospel Fest, and prior to that, I didn't really um i didn't really know you and i was more so see i love cruises so i was like oh trinell <laughs> man, man i want to go on a cruise. you know and so she was like yeah i love like i'm the type of artist like i love outdoor events um i'm not stuffy you know so the church stuff is cool but i love where we can get out you know and yeah. be you know, all over and so when i seen that i was like yes and yeah. You know, and as you know, she did a lot of the communication because I'm an introvert and I'd rather her, you know, (laughs) so she did a lot of the communication. But meeting you, um, one of the things that I I got to experience was seeing you with your family, your beautiful wife and your children. I remember, you. you know, times, yes, seeing you even asleep on the hot bus that we was on and the kids <laughs> <laughs> playing with your hat and different things, and you didn't look bothered. I want, if you could share with us, what um, what motivates you to care, you know, to, to have your family with you? Because as in this industry, that's not always seen, especially right. from a man. You know, so what motivates you to do that? Well, I'll tell you a little bit about that, um, and I'll go right into it. Um, that that trip um, was one of the roughest trips of my life, and um, mm-hmm. I honestly don't think that I would have gotten through it without the help and the aid of my wife and kids, honestly. And um, um, <laughs> them bothering me was actually some energy. I had something that I needed um, before coming. Um, I had pneumonia in both lungs. Wow. And, uh, it was, it was rough. It was the roughest thing that I could ever go through and be on a boat. And, and a lot of things that you guys don't know was that um, in the middle of dinner, I had to get up and go into the hospital on the boat to stay there mm. until the morning, just so that I can be, uh, hydrated to work um wow. but through it all my my family you know they were they were there they were there to help me to coach me press my clothes put my shoes wow. on you know prep me to to be you know um be ready um because Doug right. Jackson at work is very vibrant he's totally different from home and totally different from uh work in this music industry it's totally different and so right. um I wanted my kids to experience another, uh, another culture. I wanted my kids to experience another country, and um, yeah. and I never, I never take them. As a fact, I mean, let me let me stop saying that because they've been with me <laughs> to several concerts, but I've never taken them where I had to fly or get on a cruise. Like they've never been, and um, wow. this year I just felt like it's time for them to explore, to see, you know, and yeah. then to see also daddy's hard work and labor like it's not something that you know most of the time kids are like give me give me give me but they don't know how you got it and, you know right and so to see daddy working my daughter was just like god dad like you work like you in nine places at one time and I, wow. I i had to realize like oh my god she's sorry this is crazy mm-hmm. this is what i wanted to see and um it was one of the reasons why i brought her on i wanted them to just experience something totally different and uh, it cost a whole lot of money for me to put them on that boat but it meant so much to have them there and to see that and uh, that's right. why I brought them uh, on that trip for that experience and then to also spend some time with my family I, I'm always on the go and so right. I want to just have that moment yeah yeah I love that so you say that the Doug Jackson that is out there you know, industry-wise, concerts and all that is a different one. Who is Doug Jackson, the father at home? Doug Jackson, the father at home, is the the father that would sit with his two-year-old and watch all of her cartoons. Aww. He would sit and play puzzles <laughs> with her. Like, we, we would 
we would fight. We, I mean, I'm, I'm arguing every day with a two year old, like she's 30 and she's arguing yeah. back. And then I have a 13 year old. Oh, that's little a, mama. She little mama. Little mama, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and mm-hmm. then I got to change my hat because I got an eight year old that just wants to play video games and games. So I got to change my hat all the time so that I can fit yeah. his mode and, you know, make him feel um, accepted and, and, and feel loved as well. Then I got a 13 year old who is now coming into herself and a uh, very gorgeous, beautiful little girl. And, yeah. uh, you know, dad, she has to know that dad is there. Dad loves her. Dad is, is, is anything she needs. I'm here. I'm everything right. to her. And, and at that moment, you know, honestly, that means more to me being there for them than doing any of the work. I'll stop everything just to make sure that these three, they got it. They all right. They know that they dad right. lo- love them, you know, and at the end of the day, you know, when they're pleased, I'm pleased. I've, I've never, I don't know what I did. Um, I, my, 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 I think my wife was asleep. And this week, my nieces opened their own lemonade stand on lemonade day. And um, mm-hmm. so I took, they woke the kids up, got them dressed, put their clothes on, let's go. We went out there, got them something to eat, took them around a few places to pick up some stuff for them, got home. And my daughter, my, my eldest daughter, high-fived me and said, good job, Dad. And I said, well, mm. what did I do? She's like, you just did a good job. And you have no idea how much I wanted to cry and joy to be like, oh, my God. Aww. You did good. Like, you know, that's Doug Jackson. That's really who he is. You know, right. usually if I'm out in, 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 uh, at events, I'm quiet, I'm, you know, observant and, and working, you know, totally different from home. So that's how I am yeah. break and we're going to listen to somebody I met on the third annual gospel fest which is Ronnie Henderson you know our brother Ronnie yes I do that's my guy <laughs> yes yes this song is I can so y'all enjoy and we're going to have an amazing time listening to I can and you'll be coming back in with Doug Jackson <sighs>
and time again. You show me I can. Yeah, I never thought I'd win. Amen, amen, amen. Every time I hear that song, I'm just like, like when I first heard it in the Bahamas, Doug, I was like, oh my gosh, Ronnie. <laughs> Listen, I'm still excited about that song. Mm-hmm. I love that. I see someone asking, Miss Shay, um, how can we get that song? How can we download? I'm telling you, I had to download it as soon as I found out. His name is Ronnie Henderson. And so uh, we'll get his name in um the comments make sure to find and follow him on facebook and you can definitely download the song it's called i can um it's on itunes all that good stuff so ronnie henderson you also heard from restore city something about you which was the first song and the matt franklin band i worship you you can follow all of these artists um and make sure to download their music make sure to support and so uh you'll definitely have a great um, Miss Shay said, we'll do. <laughs> That's how we do it. So I shared before going um, to the musical break that when coming up, I didn't have the experience of a father. And um, and so that's why as an adult, I when I see um, men, you know, fathers such as yourself and, and how it is, it's like I'm really just enjoying and learning through you. And I'm watching something that in all honesty, on this earth, I've never experienced, except for my father, God, you know, I've never experienced in person. So I'm, I'm seeing it and admiring it. And I had the time, um, when I was carrying my own son, um, to speak the Proverbs to them. I learned fatherhood through my husband, but I wanted to ask you, what inspires you? Um, and this will be the, the last question I'd ask, what inspires you, um, in fatherhood makes you the father that you are wow it's funny that you mention that you know i i have one of the greatest fathers in the world and um you know just you know just for him to be alive and celebrate this week coming up for father's day is exciting um you know my father was very tough on me and um, i never understood why you know growing up I just thought he was just, you know, always trying to get on my nerves, always trying to bother me, always trying to, you know, say something. But every word that he said, every word that he spoke, it meant something. And right. um, he wanted the best for me. He didn't want, it, he didn't want me to uh, be second in what I do. He wanted me to be the best in anything that I did. And yeah. so he never wanted me to give up. And, you know, that trans transferred over into me and made me want to be the same way with my children. You know, anything that, they, anything that they do, you know, I'm always pushing, hey, you can do it. You're great. You know, you got yeah. this. It's not too hard. And, uh, you know, that's what made me, you know, want to be the amazing father that I know I am because I, 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 I try hard to be that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that, and I really do. And and like I said, from what I'm seeing, you know, viewing from the outside, um, it was authentic, you know, and it wow. was encouraging to me, you know, to watch not only um to be a part of the tour, but it was a great, you know, we had the opportunity to observe one another aside from um our Facebook stuff and our conference calls and our yeah. little profile pics and stuff like that. You got to see the real people um, yeah. behind what we do. And one, and so for me, the refreshing thing um, was I, prior to I saw Doug, uh, the businessman, you know, who had <laughs> everything in order, you know, there was sometimes we try to squeeze something in late. He was like, nope, I was like, hold on. You know? <laughs> and like, I was like, that guy, you know, but to go on the tour, and I know you weren't feeling well, but you gave us the best of what you could offer, and I appreciate that, but to go on the tour um, and see your family, that's probably one of the best things for me to understand, too, 
you know, wow. and I know that you didn't, you don't, you didn't, you don't normally uh, do that, but I'm, I'm grateful for that opportunity and that blessing because not only did I get to see, um, I, like I said, um, you all, we went on, um, we went to the Bahamas, there were flyers everywhere, we didn't, you didn't see the man's pitch on, and I said this before, you didn't see his pitch on their flyer, and now you can get with no promoter and not have them promoting the best out of themselves. And the OBS, you know, but you didn't, he was not big on that. His, his personality was more, it, he stepped back and let you move forward. And, um, and in addition to that, that fatherhood, that, that strong, his little girl, I remember running up while we were on the ship, and just getting pictures all up in the face, and, <laughs> and just, it was a team thing. Little mama just running the show, walk, walking up yeah. on the stage, you know. <laughs> Not even the sure stage, was. you know. But I'm I'm so grateful, and I'm glad that we got to, you know, connect to spend this time. And I know this isn't last the last time that we connect. So thank you so much for just who you are and what you represent. Bro, well, I'm I'm on it, Reed. Thank you so much for for seeing something in me. You know, sometimes uh, people don't always see that in themselves. But I, I yeah. do appreciate that. But you know, I'm I'm proud of you. Um the things that you're doing and the accomplishments that you are accomplishing and, and the goals that you're setting and making. You know, you are amazing. And um I'm just excited to know you and I'm so glad that God linked us together. Uh we got more more story in the future. And um, I'm just excited to uh, for you to think about me and um, in this area of, of fatherhood. Um, yes. I'm, I'm on it. You have no idea. And so I want to say thank you to you again. No problem. No problem. Thank you so much. So this um, this whole month, like I said, we are honoring our men. Last week you heard from Jerry Royce, uh, yes. who was, uh, yeah, we had a great time with Jerry Royce. And um, that was an amazing show. He is so father-like. I just, he messages me now. I love that man. I really do. And I thank wow. him for the opportunity for seeing something in me. Um, you see his picture for y'all that are looking in. Um, yeah. I, I, I thank you so much for the, seeing something in me when I was just doing a little uh, Facebook Live on Saturday morning, you know. And he, <laughs> he's allowing for this to be on radio and be worldwide. So you've heard from Jerry Royce. You've heard from my brother Doug. Yes. Next <laughs> you hear from Kent Osborne. And um and then the following um closing us out, you hear from my pastor Chad Willis. Um and next week also I have a special guest. You remember Chestin, right, Doug? Chestin Green? Uh huh. And yep, um you what... remember his friend Matt that was with him? Yeah, that's what got us. Yes. Matt is also a writer. And he wrote an amazing piece that I saw a couple of months ago. And I said, ooh, I'm gonna, I want to share this during uh, my time for fatherhood. He's going to be on with me next week, too. And so wow. I'm excited to have him on. But before we close out, um, Doug, you have a lot of things going on. Tell us how to connect with you, what you've got going on, how to follow you, and for the artists that need to know what you're doing. What's up, Doug? Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Doug Jackson. Or you can go to our Facebook page at Unique Sounds Music Group, LLC. Um, we have a few things coming up right now. We're preparing for the Essence Fest weekend. Um, we have kicked off our series uh, called Global, which we started in New York, and now we're going to New Orleans. And uh, the next stop is Tampa. And then I believe, if, well, I don't even want to say the Lord's will, but we'll be going to Philly. And um, so there we got some dates coming up, and uh, we're preparing for Africa 2020. So we would love to have anybody, if you are interested, hit me up. We would love to have you a part of us. Awesome, awesome. And we're looking for vendors as well for... Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, so if vendors... you're a vendor, please inbox me. I'll definitely give you the information. I'll email it to you. If you're a vendor and would like to be a part, please let me know. We are scarcely closing out. So please let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay. I'm telling you, he's a plug. So y'all make sure to get connected. Thank you so much again, Doug, for coming on. Um, and I look Natalie. forward to connecting with you uh, and more of what you got going on. God bless you all. And thank you God for listening to Pet Talk with Ray. Thank you. Ray.
You're listening to Gear or Slide Worldwide Podcast. All right, all right, yeah. Blinded by the things I see with my own eyes. I'm in a place I shouldn't be. I hear my heart is crying. I'm losing it. I've lost my mind. What you hear is right. I'm in a wall. I'm in a fight. But I know you got it all on my forefront. It's you and there is nobody else. Can be right on the battlefield for me. Cause you are your warrior. All on my forefront. It's you and there is nobody else. Can be right on the battlefield for me. Cause you are your warrior Yeah Mountains high but you make him go low low Through the valleys you don't let me go go Mountains high but you make him go low low Through the valleys you don't let me go go There's something about you There's something about you Can you? F-